compelling testimony from a doctor saying, listen, I would hospitalize him immediately. He has a host of health issues, and the hypothyroidism is only one of the things that may be affecting the cognitive ability of Robert Durst. If you heard this, just isolated testimony in any case, would you be compelled, if you were to play judge, to grant a mistrial? Well, if you had hope of uh, getting the trial back on track after the treatment, then um, maybe that's something that you consider. But of course, we know that there's a lot more at stake here because this trial has been going on for months. All of the pro the prosecution is almost ready to rest their case. And the question becomes, on the one hand, Mr. Durst has the right to testify on his own behalf. His attorney can't tell him, no, you can't. It's a right that is given to every criminal defendant. It is that person's decision. And what they're saying is he wants to testify, but if he testifies, it's likely to kill him. So therefore, um, they're, they're between a rock and a hard place. I think the judge considers it carefully. I think the judge words his ruling carefully. And I think the judge denies the motion for the mistrial because we waited so long to have justice in this case. It does, you know, whatever that ends up being. But there's good evidence to say that this man is a murderer and he should not get off of being able to at least face his right to a jury trial merely because of his health condition. And, you know, there have been plenty of allegations that he is playing this up and that he is making it appear worse than it is. If, if he does have health conditions. I don't think that that um, is denied. However, a lot of other allegations about how he's playing into it. You did mention that testifying is likely to kill him. Let's listen together to that testimony from Klein to that very point. Can you give us some examples from the medical records of cognitive deficit. Yes, he, he was found in the jail to have defecated on the floor of his cell and he covered it with his clothing. And that's not considered normal behavior. And is it noted to be cognitive deficit? That would be noted to be a cognitive deficit. deficit. They had a psychiatrist come and examine him. Now, let me just ask some very, is that the only one? No, there's other examples as well. Yes. Could he die by testifying? Yes. Will testifying risk further deterioration of his health, at least? Unequivocally, it's, it's very stressful. All right, James, I have not covered any trials and I'm not familiar with any cases in which the argument has been made. If he has to testify, it's going to kill him. So A, I think it's unique. And B, is this motion premature? Because it's not time for him to testify yet. The prosecution is not yet rested, although we expect that they might soon. So is this motion premature would be the second question I would ask. <laughs> Well, the, in answer to the second question, they have the right to make the motion whenever they want to, and the judge has, you know, has indicated they're going to decide on on Monday. But you know, the the example of his cognitive decline. I mean, let's face it, people in a prison cell don't have a lot of options if something like that happens. It's not like you can go and, and get a roll of paper towels and put and pick it up and take uh, any um, anything out to the trash or something like that. You're in that jail cell. All you know, is it illogical to put clothes on top of um, where he defecated? Not necessarily. I mean, who wants to look at that? So I thought it was a pretty poor example. Look, it's an unfortunate situation when someone's incarcerated. And there is no doubt looking at him that this is not all fake. I mean, this man over, you see the interview six years ago and how he's deteriorated. Boy, it is it is really something where it's like, let's you know, a, a warning cry to everyone, like take care of yourself uh, in terms of your health and, and being in prison is not a good place for that. But does it mean that he shouldn't stand for justice, stand and be tried for these crimes in a situation because of his deteriorating health? And, you know, right now there's no clear guideline in terms of society that we have not made it clear that if someone reaches such an age or health, they should not face consequences for their actions. 
And until we decide that, well, we are going to have mercy if you reach a certain age or you reach a certain health condition that we're going to let people out of prison automatically, this trial should probably be completed. And uh, let's hear what the jury has to say.